Welcome to We Teach AI Designs, where we teach AI design tutorials. Um, today I'm here with Dila, definitely Dila. Happy to be here. That's what's up. I appreciate you, uh, you know, uh, jumping on on the Zoom with me. Absolutely. So, um, tell me something. What made you want to get into this whole AI design art, you know, world? What what inspired you to to get into it? It just looks really interesting, like really, really cool. And I used to print like um, do heat press like with t-shirts and stuff like that. And I was like, if I added this in, I feel like it would just like level up, you know, my shirts and things that I want to, you know, put out there. So definitely, definitely. And I think this type of content is good. Is going to be good for merchandise, shirts, hats, uh, mugs, um, cell phones. Yes. It's, um, it's art that we are designing that is not seen anywhere else. Mm -hmm. so, I do too. If we've ever bought that type of art or enjoy that type of art, there's a, a million people that want to do it as well. So, all right. So I wanted to uh, go ahead and share my screen here. Um, okay. Let me know if you're able to see it here. Yes, I'm here. I see it. All right, perfect. So I'm right right now. I'm on a home um, page of uh, Mid Journey. Um, when you go to midjourney.com, there's going to give you an opportunity to be able to sign in. You could pick your plan. Right now, I'm working on the $30 uh, a month plan, but you could get just as good results with the $10 plan. So I kind of explain uh, just the differences uh, once we get a little bit more into it. Um, okay. So, all right, perfect. So we're starting at the the uh, the uh, homepage here on Midjourney. I always open up a second tab. And that second tab is what you're going to actually use to create your designs. And that is going to be Discord. So the same ID that you use, information that you log in, that you use for We Teach AI Designs, you're going to use for creating a Discord channel. You follow okay. me? Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you. Perfect. So on the left-hand side, you'll see, and then, you know, it's a couple um, uh, permissions you have to accept. But on the left-hand side, you'll see the Mid Journey tab. And on the left-hand side, you'll see trial support, member support, um, all these different things, feedback, discussion. I would definitely go through them, kind of get an idea of what other people are um, creating. And we can create right here in the message tab. Just click forward slash prompt, and we can start creating right there. But we don't want to do that only because there's just a, a flow of other creators creating content that we don't want, want to get ours lost. So what we want to do is we want to hit the top left-hand corner and we want to click direct message. And what direct message does is it allows us to only see our own content. So anything oh, that we create, anything that we design, we don't have a, a stream of everyone else's content. It's just like Facebook when you post a picture, but then you might see everybody's pictures, videos, whatever and you go to your profile picture just so that way you can see what you posted. Okay, that's less overwhelming. Okay, I'm with you because I was really like, oh my gosh. Absolutely, and it could be overwhelming, definitely. Um, okay, so the next important thing is to go and change your settings. Uh, you want to click the forward slash um, and you want to click settings and it should pop up after a while and then you want to click enter. What this does is it allows you to kind of set it and forget it. You set these settings up, you're good. A lot of people weren't coming out with good for good content because they had their version on version three, which was the previous version. Version mm -hmm. three, version four is totally different. And uh, version four is where you want to create. So you just want to select that. If you have the uh, $10 a month version or the free version, I would click base quality. Um, because the mm -hmm. high quality two times the cost is just going to make you use your credits just that much faster. Uh, $10 is unlimited as well, but it's like limited as far as like a GPU and stuff like that. Or no, no, uh, $10 is actually 250 images a month. So if you did the high quality, every image you'll create, it'll be kind of like twice as much versus the $30 unlimited. Um, I don't have to worry about, you know, mm. Um, now the style med medium right here, this mm -hmm. just means, you know, when you put certain um, commands in, it could look really like a painting or the software. It's like a, putting slapping extra filters on something versus it 
being just a slight filter and it looking more natural. So uh, we want to have it right on medium so that way it's a little bit of a filter, it's a little bit of an artistic creation, but not super extreme, like style very high. That's what that So means. with the medium, would that come out more like the, you know, when you did the older um, lady with the goggles or the, that look? Yeah. Would that be considered like highly filtered or more? It would be considered, it'll be considered, you know, that's more so in the commands in regards to 8K high definition. And we can go over mm -hmm. that. We can go over that particular image and how I'm able to get that look and how different it'll look, you know, with another image, uh, just all in the commands. So that's what style medium is. Regular okay. upscale is fine. Um, uh, well, I'll show you how to manually uh, upscale it. Uh, public mode, remix mode. This is a very important um, thing to keep on. See what remix mode does is let's say I wanted to go in and I wanted to uh, change. Um, whoops, uh, let go to uh, variation two. I wanted to change this, and just to let you know, uh, the U's are upscale, the V's are variation. Upscale means I want to just pick this third image here, and mm -hmm. I'll to make sure it's a full screen and it's high high quality because I just want to use that image. Variation means, you know what, there's something about this image, the third one, I don't really like, but I want to try it again or I really do like it and I want to create more versions of that. That's when you'll hit either V1, V2, V3, V4 from left to right. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I, I That's see what that. that means. Um, okay, so I believe I was going somewhere. Oh yeah. Also too, uh, this right here is, let's say all four of these are really dope. I want to create four versions, four new, four new variations of all four. I want to create it again. That's when you'll select this right here. So that's where you're at. Oh, remix mode. Remix mode is, let's say I wanted to create a variation of the fourth one. Mm -hmm. This allows me to go into, I have high fashion, Models, young Afropunk. Let's say I wanted to go in and say steampunk. And these terms, you'll kind of like get used to it as you're kind of going through the community tab and seeing what other people are doing. Now, did, the, all those, did all that like generate by itself or you have that saved in there? Absolutely. I copied and pasted it from um, our community feed. And we're going to go mm -hmm. over that next in regards okay. to actually finding, you know, these dope descriptions just to make sure you get what you want. So in a settings tab, that's what allows me to uh, remix it versus if I unselect remix mode, when I click a variation of, of let's say, uh, four or three or two, it'll mm -hmm. just the variation without asking me to make any changes. So uh, just to kind of let you know what that, that means. So okay. uh, remix mode, fast mode. Uh, if you have the um, $30 version, you want to use fast mode because it allows you to create your images that much faster, but it uses a lot of GPU. Um, what GPU is, is basically just processing power versus relax mode. It allows you to use less GPU. Long story short, if you have the $10 a month version or less, use the relax mode. It's gonna take mm -hmm. longer to process your images, but it's not gonna use as much GPU. If you use fast mode, then you know you can create your images fast, same quality, high quality, but you don't have to worry about GPU simply because you have the unlimited version. Okay. Okay, so we've done that. We've set up our settings. Uh, let's go to the home tab and um, with everybody's um, account, similar to MySpace, Facebook, your content is going to be on your home feed. So you can always go back and reference your images. I was working on Baby Yoda um, the other day Thank you. And, and all that good stuff. Um, I can always go back and reference what I'm looking for. But when I'm creating from scratch, I like to go to the community feed. I like to go mm -hmm. to the community feed because it gives me an idea to see a wide variety of visuals and, and artistic styles from, from cyberpunk to just cartoonish to very futuristic. Um, and I can use these prompts, these, 
these different ideals, you know, different, you know, stunning cosmic goddess, luminous shimmering skin. I don't even have to worry about all of what that says. All I have to do is hit the three dots, click copy, full command. And that right there, I place that inside the actual uh, uh, mid journey prompt, then it'll, 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 it's able to create it. So let's kind of go to the granny uh, photography thing. We're gonna go to my actual home page. Mm -hmm. Your community page, did you have to add everybody or does it generate, like when you first go on, it generates like a, a feed already? Great question. So the community feed is everyone that's on mid journey. It's like your, yeah, it's it's just like everybody that's using mid journey. Like now, a for you page. A for you page, like a TikTok for oh, you page for sure. Okay. Now, let's say I want to specifically follow specific creators and I, mm -hmm. I love this person's style. I could click their image. I can scroll down and I can take a look at all of the other content that they've um, created under Explore Related. I can uh, follow them. That's the follow button here. Mm -hmm. Or I could bookmark this particular image. Now the follows, everybody that you follow, and you can follow from the, the three, uh, three tabs as well. Yeah. Or you could bookmark here. The everyone you follow will be in the personal feed. Every image, specific image you bookmark will be in the bookmarks. Okay. So that's why we start with the community feed first for, you know, even if you don't want to create something right now, it's like, oh, that'd be good for later. Let me bookmark it. Or, you know what, this, this creator is killing it. Let me go ahead and follow them. So that way, when I go to my personal feed, I see everyone that I'm following. Nice. Perfect. So I followed enough people and created a couple of different styles that sometimes I just go back and reference my old content because I want to make similar content to it. So we're going to go to the uh, granny photography here. This is so nice. Oh my gosh. Like seriously. Right. Yeah. Oh. And, you can, and you can follow uh, people too. Um, and you can give them your follow link. Um, it's on the bottom left hand corner. We teach AI 5660. So if you want to annotate that so that way you can always just kind of go to it, go through my feed, follow me, go through my feed and, and modify my prompts, you can do that as well. So uh, this image right here, let's say, um, you know, she's a, a Caucasian female, older mm -hmm. grandmother with the, holding a camera. All I selected was this is my prompts here. So let's say mm -hmm. I want you to go ahead and uh, modify this, you go to the three dots, copy, full command. So most people will wanna see this and they just will wanna copy it. I'm telling you as an advanced feature to make sure you're getting the essence of this photo, three dots, copy, full command. It'll copy it for you. And then you wanna go to your Discord. So you always wanna have two tabs open. You always wanna have the mid journey website and then discord and you want to obviously be operating in your direct messages and we're going to go ahead and force on discord huh your direct messages on discord direct messages on discord and discord okay. is, discord is free to use mid journey is what you're paying but mid okay. discord, you can only access the create to create on discord it's a really confusing thing Okay, yeah, I'm seeing, but I mean, it's coming together. I was just like, I didn't get how the two, but I see now, okay. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Okay, so um, so we're gonna go ahead and click, we've set our settings. We're gonna uh, hit our forward slash, imagine prompts. We've already uh, copied the vibe and feel that we're looking for. A stunning grandmother holding a camera, big eyes and muted background. That's a very uh, light, you know, very, um, you know, condensed, uh, you know, condensed uh, description. So mm -hmm. we're gonna go ahead and change that. Um, let's say a stunning brand grandpa. Um, and we'll, you know, a lot of the commands kind of default to a certain ethnicity. It's all good. Whereas this, you know, modify it to what we are looking for. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna go ahead, click enter um, and it'll generate its image. But let's go back to the community feed because you know a lot of 
um, the super dope designs that we see are very intricate, very, very uh, detailed. So yeah. let's say we wanted to just modify that. Uh, so let's say we're seeing this right here. We, let's, you know what, this is in portrait mode already. So I'm going to go ahead and as a matter of fact, yeah, this is in portrait mode. So let's go ahead and change this. So let's go ahead and copy this. Mm -hmm. Full command. And this is what this is just me looking at the picture. I haven't even read the description. The description isn't isn't even all of that super detailed. With version uh -huh. four, you can really create some good stuff without uh without a lot of detail. So it's 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 very, very simplistic. So we're gonna go into the mid journey. We're gonna go ahead and forward slash imagine we're going to paste that and we're going to make the differences the changes here so psychedelic visionary art photo portrait partial smiling queen of alchemy okay let's see mm -hmm. if i can portrait let's say of a black woman as a matter of fact black haitian woman and we are going to go ahead and enter that in. And notice how I'm not necessarily changing the photo. You know, could I make it Afropunk? Yes. Can I make it Afrofuturistic? Yes. But I'm keeping the vibe of what that photo mm -hmm. is and I'm making changes for that. Now, if you are looking for something that's more Afropunk or futuristic or whatever you're going for, I would go to the community tab and actually find something that's similar to it so mm -hmm. that way the computer doesn't have to get you know that much information as you see gorgeous cyberpunk young adult 85 yeah. lens ultra detailed photography looking into the camera all those different things if you're going for that vibe find that photo let's go ahead and click uh copy full command and the same thing with everyone, everything else, forward slash prompt, paste, paste it in. And for the most part, I'm usually just changing the, the ethnicity or the gender, everything else I'm keeping the same because I like the feel of that, of that look. So you're just adding the pasted um, full command to the end of whatever you had before. Yes. And just like keeping, you know, making it detailed, like, okay. Yes. So I'm going to make this a, a black brand mother because making content of older people is just something I like to do. So I think it's really, really, really cool. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. So let's go to the first. All right, that's about 85%. Okay, so this is where we are. We had the, uh, uh, the grandmother, you know, wow. was a different, um, she was a different ethnicity she was a mm -hmm. Caucasian woman now we've all we did was change one element we just turned it into a grandmother and we specified a black grandpa and this I is love this. oh my gosh able to come up with you know um so from here let's say we want to you know what we really like the second one so we want to mm -hmm. click upscale so that way we can single out that that image and it's going to create it by itself um it's going to create that image by itself so that way we can further then upsell it and upscale it and then we can upload it to a t-shirt we can upload it online we can upload okay, it. okay so the one two three four you got to upscale to pick grandpa number two so you do upscale two yes and I then are you going to the variation part below or are you just saying this is what I want to put on a shirt like this is my end product that's what I'm doing. Yeah i'm saying that this one right here, you know what there's yeah. nothing wrong with this, I want to rock with this one, this okay. is okay so it so upscale too. now I can definitely click variation too, because I was I could say hey you know what the this is the only one with the hat on so you know what mm -hmm. I want to do variation too, simply because. I want to make sure that um, he either has a hat on again, or you know what, I like that style, and I want to turn that into a grand mop. Holding, mm -hmm. it. and it has that same looks, same style, that same feel. It's like the same, mm -hmm. same vibe. 
Um, so yeah, that's why, and that's why keeping a remix feature on is so important because it allows you that, that flexibility. Oh, okay, 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 okay. All right, so we are here um, in regards to go ahead, clicking. So we wanna go ahead and click it once it's um, at 100%, which I believe it is now. Okay, perfect. Want to click it? A lot of people want to right click and save it here. It's just a preview. Bottom left hand corner, open original. When you click open original, it it's a wide screen. This is what you want to save. This is what you want to save. You want to right click. Oh my gosh, I love this picture. Save to downloads. Very unique. I mean, it's AI art. So there's a lot of, as a photographer, there's a lot of imperfections I could see. I could see it's three lenses. What the heck is that? Uh, <laughs> the, for some reason, the fingers. Never fingers. <laughs> right. But I think those imperfections is what make it so perfect. Yes. You know, it's it's AI art. It's, it's thinking about it and all of that good stuff. Um, oh my, he looks so beautiful. He looks like 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 somebody's like like he could be a grandpa. I love I love it. Oh my gosh. Exactly, exactly. So from here is where you right click and save. And whether you are good at Photoshop, um, no, and, I'm not. Who's you know, and, and the crazy thing about it is you don't have to be. Uh, you could just you know create uh, make it a little sharper. You know, let's say you want to make it a little sharper image. You could um, modify things in, in Photoshop. You could. Uh, modify things in Lightroom, or you could mm -hmm. just create a, um, um, uh, you could go to a website and allow it to modify it for you. Uh, what I like to use is uh, Lance, let's enhance.io. Let enhance. <laughs> <I'll get> <laughs> Yeah. I'll get it from you later because I, I think I would like to use that. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll make sure I put it in a bio too. Uh, okay. Let's enhance.io. And mm -hmm. what I do is I can the reason why I like using this one more than um, the other ones is uh, I can upload, you know, multiple images at once. But for mm -hmm. this this particular case, we're going to just upload one, and you can see the differences immediately. You know, in terms of the specs, a lot of times people look over the megapixels. All right, so the input is 1024 by 1536, 1.6 mm -hmm. megapixel. So that's going in, but what is outputting is 2048, 3072, 6.3, 300 DPI. Now, if you know anything about print, you know that 300 DPI is your standard for printing anything on a shirt or anything like that. It's the max mm -hmm. quality. Um, on the right-hand side, you have a, a lot of different little AI tools. You can either uh, turn them off or you can play with them, adjust the intensity. I'm gonna allow it to go ahead and process. Um, as is with its default. Um, and for the most part, these are minor changes, but they, mm -hmm. they're they minor changes if you're just posting online, but they're big changes if you are printing um, a design or anything like that. For sure. I've had something get sent back to me, like when I was trying to get it um, printed for t-shirt work, they're like, no, you need to change yeah. that stuff. So very yeah. true. Definitely. Um, and yeah, and that's what you and that's what you uh, got. I'm gonna go ahead um, upscale this. This is this is uh, before. This is after. Mm -hmm. Before this is after. And you know you can modify it yourself. You, you might say, hey, you know what? I like more of the darker care, uh, darker look. Let's go ahead and modify the upscale just so it doesn't brighten it up. Let's keep it dark. Or yeah. It'll do like a kind of like an autocorrect, you know, system or whatever to make sure that, you know, everything is visual, vibrant, um, and it has a nice, nice boost in clarity. So, yeah. Any questions? Um, I do have one question. So yeah. let's say with all that you showed me today, if I wanted to play with a picture that like a, a portrait picture of someone else or just anything, you can use the same thing as far as uploading that in here and using different um, descriptive things to change it? Or is it just what's based in here you can kind of play around with? Absolutely. So there's um, a lot of, uh, there's a lot of ways that you can um, upload an image. Uh, let's, mm -hmm. let's uh, you know, if I had one prepared, I could show you, but let me kind of just walk you through it. You can definitely okay. upload an image. Um, and what you would do is you would click um 
the plus sign here, mm -hmm. up, upload file. And then from there is when you would uh, go ahead and upload an image to be able to kind of use someone else's face as a inspiration. Now with mid journey and, you know, Linza that's kind of been coming out. Uh, mm -hmm. It's very different in regards to, um, let's take a look here. See if I got any uh, screenshots. I was kind of messing around with it. So with, okay. with um, Linza, it's more like a glorified filter. So mm -hmm. it's not necessarily pulling from the internet to compile, taking a small megapixel um, to be able to create one original image. What Linza is, it's actually just a filter that you're kind of slapping on. So that way it's only taking like your images and it's able to do that. So if I wanted to make uh, Dela, you know, look like this or any, any of my friends, it's going to take your facial features. It's going to take a vibe and it's going to be very unique, but it's not mm -hmm. going to look precisely exactly like Got that. it. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah, but what you would do though, um, if you were to want it to play around with it, you'll hit the upload here. Mm -hmm. You'll upload the image here. You'll click enter. You'll click the image. You'll open it in a new tab. You'll copy that. Close that. And that, mm -hmm. that link that you copy, copy, you forward slash, you'll paste that. Mm -hmm. Make sure you hit a space because you're kind of creating a whole nother ele element to it. And let's say, and that's when you're going to put your prompt. So you'll put whatever prompt that, you know, let's pretend this is a selfie. You'll put whatever mm -hmm. prompt that, you know, let's say we wanted to put Dela, but we wanted to have her be uh, cyberpunk. That's when mm -hmm. you go ahead and copy that full command and. in there. Bam. Click enter. So as long as you are copying the address, mm -hmm. copy the address, and then you're pasting that inside the actual uh, imagine prompt like you would do anything else. It's almost like you're putting two separate prompts in versus mm -hmm. the, one. the image is going to be its own prompt in itself because it's a reference. Um, yeah. And then you're adding your description after that with a space. So that's how you would be created with that. But definitely, you know, go for it. There's going to be a lot of people looking to get images of themselves. If that's something that you can master or if it's something that you could just test out for yourself, that right there is going to be a gold mine because we see how quick Linsa blew up. Yeah, which it was very fun. It was very fun, but it's also like, I don't know, this is really interesting, especially how in depth, you know, it can go. It's like oh, mind blowing. But yeah. Definitely, definitely, definitely. So I'm excited to see what uh, designs that you come up with. Uh, feel free to definitely go to uh, the We Teach AI Designs uh, page on Mid Journey to be able to find them. And the way you find it is, uh, you know, you'll go to your home page here, mm -hmm. and then you'll click at the search bar, search prompts or users. And just to let you know, uh, let's say I wanted to, you know, it's, it's the holiday, so let's say I wanted to look up uh, images inspired by Santa. You'll click, uh, you'll click that, click Santa. Um, mm -hmm. You'll be able to, uh, it'll go ahead and generate the different uh, images from new to oldest to top to hot um, and different things like that. Cool. Yeah, it'll generate there. So, this has been so interesting. Thank you. Of course, of course, of course. Um, you know, definitely. And, and like I said before, a community feed, hot, new, top. Is going to give you a wide range of different images and a lot of different inspirations um and yeah 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 just get you know be as creative as you could possibly possibly be so just to kind of show you what you know we melded the cyberpunk with this this image so this is kind of like what we got here mm -hmm. so Gonna have to be creative with it, um, but it's definitely possible to create some dope stuff, though. Absolutely. Absolutely. 
So I'm gonna stop sharing my screen here. Is there any other questions you could think that you may definitely want to know? Because I wanna make sure that you are fully, fully comfortable with, with getting started with it. So now, no, but um, I will say this has helped tremendously because seeing like you post your content, it looked really overwhelming. I was like, I can't do that. <laughs> and okay. This at least gives me an idea, like, okay, you can start baby steps, you know, and figure things around and play with it and, you know, whatever. So this was very helpful. And I'm sure I'll have questions as soon as I go. But right now, I don't. Yeah, yeah. Go, go ahead and um, create some stuff. Uh, take, you know, um, from setting up. And I'm going to post this on YouTube, too, so you can mm -hmm. always uh, reference our uh, conversation. Be like, okay, what prompt did he say for this? Or what settings did he say for this? Uh, so that way we can make sure uh you know you're, you're you're good to go oh my gosh thank you very excited of course of course i see you got your whole studio set up back there let's trying yeah. yes i do i do so i'm you figuring that part out as well better equipment than i do you know over there i'm looking over to the left the, the flash and stuff like that that's that's some professional the thing stuff. is i have it and then i'm have to go on youtube to figure out how to work it all because i'm like oh that's the harder part. So, so, so I can't yes. wait to see what you create. Um, all that Thank stuff. you. And, um, yeah. If you have any questions, please leave a comment on the YouTube or send me a message. And we'll make sure that you know what I'm saying. You're good to go. Absolutely. Thank you. Absolutely. Well, you have a good one, Bela. All right. You too. Bye. Bye.